गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम कनिका शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आई टी डिपार्टमेंट आई एम एस नोएडा सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन जावा सो वॉट इज द इनहेरिटेंस इफ वी वी विल टॉक अबाउट द इनहेरिटेंस सो देन वी वी कैन टॉक द इनहेरिटेंस इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज सो इनहेरिटेंस इज बेसिकली इट इज इनहेरिटिंग द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ पेरेंट क्लास into child class means whatever the properties we have uh, parents acquired we automatically inherit right so this is the basic uh, terminology of inheritance yeah we can say okay, this is the basic definition of inheritance in a lay layman language right but what is the technical definition of inheritance so inheritance is a methodology is a mechanism that object acquires that object acquires all the properties behavior methods from its parent class so what is inheritance ke where a child class inherit acquire all the properties all the objects properties behaviors methods from its parent class so this is very simple inheritance it's very easy to use in inheritance so let's discuss there is a class i am taking here an example a class vehicle so it can any property it can any method so i am taking here a void speed and system dot out dot print ln and what i am printing here a run suppose so this is a basic simple class a class vehicle with the speed method where i am printing a run now i am taking another class here a class car so car uh, is a vehicle bike can also be a vehicle any type of vehicle we can here but i am taking a simple example so class car this is a class name so it is also a method of speed so ab should i write this speed method again no i don't want to why i want why i want to rewrite this method because if i write this method again it will increase the line of code in your program which is not good programming so here i can simply reuse this concept i simply inherit this speed method so what i will do i will just inherit all the properties of vehicles class so extend vehicle this keyword this is the class name this is keywords and this is your parent class name this what this word is explain this word extend explain that we are inheriting all the properties from the parent class right so just simple public void public static void main string args and now what i will do i just simply create an object car c equals to new car and c dot speed okay so now tell me one thing guys ki if i write if uh, uh, i will rub this word theek okay? hai suppose uh, there is no extend keyword 
right? So, can I access this speed method from the child, uh, from the parent class? No, I cannot access because this is the wrong method. Compiler will give the error. So, this extend keyword explain the inheritance properties, right? Now we can access simply a child, a parent class property in a child class. So this is our parent class and this is this class car, this is our child class. So this is the example where we are using the inheritance concept you can see that we actually achieving the uh, reusability concept you can see that where we do we, uh, we didn't write the speed concept again we simply achieve this method with the concept of inheritance so basically what is why we are using this concept right the next question uh, uh, come in the mind okay, why we are using this concept so we are using this concept first advantage is code reusability we can already see right the next uh, ad advantages of inheritance is your uh, polymorphism method overriding concept where we can run we can achieve a polymorphism at runtime so this is the basic advantages of inheritance now the second point came in my mind okay what is the disadvantage what can be a disadvantage of inheritance so the main disadvantages of inheritance yeah we can say the single disadvantages of inheritance is the tight coupled classes you can directly see this class we call and the, this class this class is completely dependent on this parent class so if we can change in a parent class or we can change in a in any class so it will it will directly affect to the other classes so which which cannot be happen because we we uh, we, we uh, do not easily change on the server right so this is because of the tight couple classes this is a disadvantage is because if uh, suppose we are taking 10 more classes right if we are taking 10 more classes in the uh, child classes or parent classes so they will direct uh, they will directly affect to each other if one change happens in any class okay now next the next concept is types of inheritance now, one more thing here okay, inheritance represent inheritance represent is a relationship what type of relationship inheritance explain represent is a relationship why because there is a parent child relationship like you can say in the pre uh, what example you can say in the example that there is a vehicle class right and there is another child class which is car so car is a vehicle where car acquire all the properties from vehicle so there are so many examples like uh, doctor is a surgeon sorry surgeon is a doctor Uh, mango is a fruit and there can be one more example like dog is an animal so 
इनहेरिटेंस रिप्रेजेंट द इज अ रिलेशनशिप नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन जाव बेसिकली इनहेरिटेंस है फाइव टाइप्स वन इज सिंगल सेकेंड इज मल्टी लेवल राइट थर्ड इज हेरारिकल हेरारिकल एंड फोर्थ इज मल्टीपल एंड लास्ट इज हाइब्रिड सो देर आर बेसिकली फाइव टाइप सिंगल इनहेरिटेंस मल्टी लेवल इनहेरिटेंस हेरारिकल इनहेरिटेंस मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस एंड द हाइब्रिड इनहेरिटेंस ओके सो सिंगल वॉट इज सिंगल वी एक्चुअली सो द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिंगल इनहेरिटेंस वेयर देर इज अन पेरेंट क्लास क्लास ए क्लास बी सो दिस इज द सिंगल लेवल इनहेरिटेंस मल्टी लेवल इनहेरिटेंस इज ए क्लास बी क्लास सी सो देर आर मोर देन टू क्लासेस क्लास ए क्लास बी क्लास सी इन हेरिकल देर कैन बी थ्री क्लासेस ठीक है देर कैन बी मोर देन थ्री मोर देन वन क्लासेस सपोज ए बी सी डी सो ऑल आर इनहेरिटिंग properties from class a multiple uh, multiple means there are there are two, uh, three classes a b c and this c inherit from both the classes inherit properties from both the classes and there is one more uh, types hybrid which is there are four classes there can be a b c d so a and b inheriting the properties from a and d is inheriting properties from b and c so uh, this is basically from where two uh, uh, classes two common uh, classes make another class okay so in java we basically use three types of inheritance first is single second is multi level and third is radical we cannot use the multiple inheritance and the hybrid inheritance we can achieve those both the inheritance with the help of interface okay so in class class b access the properties from class a that mean this is class parent class and this is child class in multi level inheritance if there is a uh, uh, method of display a display b or display c so A can only access this display method. B can access method from A, and C can access both the methods from A and B. So this is the multi-level. Next is hierarchical, where B, C, D. These are the child class, and they are accessing all the properties from its parent class. B, C, and D. There is no connection between them. B cannot access the properties from C and D, and C cannot access the properties from B and D. And same as well, D cannot access the properties from B and C. Next is multiple. Multiple means that okay, there is a one class C. which is access from both the classes a and b means it has two parent class hybrid b and c access the properties from a and the another class d access the properties from the b and c so they, this cannot be access in multiple hybrid 
right so that's all for the inheritance thank you